Hey guys, it's Britt. Today I am going to do my Disney Cruise Line haul. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys everything I bought. I'm gonna tell you how much it is. So that way when you go on your Disney Cruise Line vacation, you can have a general idea as to what is there and what it's gonna cost you. I've been meaning to do this video for months, but I'm a procrastinator. So this bag's been sitting in my room for a couple months now and I'm tired of it there, so let's get this cruise line haul done. The first thing we'll start off with is this Disney Cruise Line bag. This is a dollar with any purchase on the Disney Cruise Line. There are four different sizes, and this is the largest size, and all four sizes are a dollar, so go big or go home, right? Basically, the only reason why I bought this bag was to store my souvenirs while I was on the boat. I have a little, little bit of a shopping problem, so I knew I would need the big one. I have no idea what I'm going to use this bag for now, but it's here. Please don't forget, if you like this video, to like and subscribe to my channel. So, just in case you haven't tuned into my Disney Cruise Line vlog series, before we went on the cruise, Jen and I decided to spend the night at Grand Floridian. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you off what souvenirs I got from the Grand Floridian. Uh, I didn't wanna buy too much there. I've always really wanted to stay at Grand Floridian. It's the one resort that's been like my dream resort at Disney ever since I was a kid. So it was super exciting to be able to make that dream happen. And so it had to be commemorated, right? had to fits in this itty bitty tiny bag so while Disney is in the process of going green right now and is trying to get rid of the, all of their plastic bags as you can see they're still available so let's hit this up so the first thing I bought is a little Grand Floridian mug you have Mickey on one side and Minnie on the other you have Mickey on one side and Minnie on the other. They have an Alice in Wonderland teacup that looks kind of similar to this where it kind of looks like a couple teacups packed together. And I really, really love this look, um, but I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, so I never bought the cup. However, I really love this one. I love the pastel colors. I think it just looks super cute. It fits in with the theme of the resort, which is like Victorian era Florida. Looks like this was $22.99. And I'm gonna let you guys on a little bit of a secret. I am totally obsessed with Christmas ornaments. It's a problem. Um, I'm not seeking help for it at this current time, but I have an addiction to Christmas ornaments, especially Disney Christmas ornaments. And I have wanted this Christmas ornament for the last couple of years, but I refused to buy it until I stayed at Grand Floridian. And now I've stayed there, so this ornament's mine. Little itty bitty teacup and saucer. And I just, I just love this. I just love it, it's so cute. And if you can see, come on camera, focus. On one side, it has the GF for Grand Floridian. And on the other, it has a little hidden Mickey. I love this. So cute I can't it's so cute I can't wait for it to go on my tree this year and this Christmas ornament is $21.99 so let's move on to cruise line stuff because frankly that's why you're here I went on the Disney dream in June 2019 so these were kind of the offerings that were there at the time um, I'm sure some of these offerings were seasonal and I'm sure some of these offerings are around all the time so it just depends on when you're there um, but this is just to give you a general idea of what's usually on the ship and see what you might want to buy when you're there. The first thing I'll start out with is this cup. Uh, this cup came with an adult beverage on the first day of the cruise. Basically on embarkment day, they have all these cast members around with this glass filled with adult beverages. And for $16.10, you can buy it and it comes with cheaper refills on alcohol throughout your trip. I believe the refills at that point would have been about $2 a piece for the daily drink. So not to any drink, it had to be the drink of the day. And so the next thing I bought was this photo album. I believe this photo album will probably only be around for 2019. Well, duh, because it says 
2019 on the packaging. Um, but this was like the general style of Disney Cruise Line merch for 2019. I picked this one because it fit more pictures. I love that. So it holds 300 pictures, which is pretty intense. And let's open it up to see what it looks like on the inside. And it actually feels kind of soft. Um, not super soft, like it doesn't feel like a kitten or anything. But it's definitely not as hard as it could be. Has this nice blue color and a Mickey on the bottom. And this photo album was $24.99. Um, compared to the other photo albums on the cruise, it was about two to three dollars more expensive. Uh, but like I said, this one holds more pictures and it's a little bit bigger, so I thought it was a better value. And so the next thing I received, I actually received from a friend on the ship. Um, so I don't know if it's like this for every party of two, but because Jen and I were traveling together, just the two of us, they actually put us at a table for eight where three other couples were sitting with us. Um, so obviously when you're eating dinner with people every night, you start to talk and you make friends. And one of them had one bingo one night and so she won this gift basket thing. And she won a Disney Cruise Line travel blanket. So it comes packed up like this and it has a little strap, which is cool. And you pull off these. And for size comparison, this is how big it is. So it fills up two couch cushions. And it's not super long. Um, I would say it's probably about five foot in dimensions. Definitely not soft, like it's not a blanket you would cuddle up with. Uh, it's more of a blanket for taking a picnic on or just having in your car, things like that, outdoor activities. Um, so I wouldn't use this as an actual blanket blanket. The next thing I bought wasn't for me, it was actually for my niece. And I got her a little set of bath toys. You can see Goofy dressed up as a little crew man. And Donald. Minnie as her Captain Minnie. Captain Mickey, of course. A little cruise ship. Um, it looks like it's a generic Disney cruise ship, so it's not specific to the boat, which is a little disappointing. And then a little Captain Pluto. The thing I love about this packaging is it gives them little names, like it says Crewman Donald, and it says Cruise Director Minnie. And so I think that's super cute. Uh, the baby will not care. She will just take them out and put them in her mouth. So, but I think the packaging on this is really cute. Um, I will be honest. There's not a whole lot to buy for babies on board. Uh, there's a couple like onesies and shirts, not too much. Um, just like most Disney merchandise, it tends to be geared more toward children as compared to babies. So if you're shopping for somebody with a baby, um, there are very limited options, but this was adorable, so this was coming home. And these guys were $21.99, so not too bad. You figure you get six toys for 22 bucks? Not too shabby. And the next thing I purchased was one thing you always need on every Disney vacation. Ears. These are a rose gold ears with a navy bow. As you can see, there's little anchors on them. They had three different types of ears on the ship. They had these rose gold ones, they had a set of red ones, and they have a set of blue ones. I will put in a clip of the other two ears right here. Uh, there actually wasn't as many ear choices on the cruise that I thought there would be. Um, they had a couple different ear choices, um, but most of them were the same ones that were in Disney World and weren't Cruise Line exclusive. Um, of course, if I'm going on the cruise, like I'm getting exclusive ears, like you're not stopping me on that one. So I was a little disappointed with that, um, but these ears are cute. Um, and they actually totally work with, with what I'm wearing right now. Just like most ears at Disney World, these were $27.99. However, I just found out a couple days ago that they did a mini ear headband hike. So now the ears are $29.99. So although they were $27.99 when I was on the cruise, they're probably gonna be $29.99 when you go on it. So 
keep it in mind. I next item I purchased is again another staple on any Disney vacation, and it is an autograph book. And I love how cute and fun this one is. Uh, I love how it's plushy and squishy. My big thing with autograph books is I refuse to buy one unless there's a picture slot. So, as you can see, you have the character signature right here. And in this particular instance, I had Mickey. And then you have a photo slot for your picture. I was very lazy this cruise and I got a whole whopping two autographs. So, wah, wah, wah. Uh, I think I'm going to save this for my next cruise, whenever that is, and try to add to it. Um, I'm so mad at myself I only got two, but there's just so much to do on a Disney cruise and not enough time. Like, it is insane. If you just focus on characters, like, you won't be doing anything else. And the autograph book was $12.99. And then I also bought this pen, um, which I think is super cute. I love... I love the little top, like the smokestack on the Disney Cruise, um, although it does not want to focus, so you might not see that. Uh, so the very top is the smokestack, and then we have like a little hodgepodge of stuff, of characters dressed up in cruise gear. Um, the camera doesn't want to focus on this pen, so I don't think you're going to get the full detail, um, but just a pro tip with autographs. Any furry characters, so characters like Mickey, Donald Daisy, uh, those kinds of characters, the characters that can't talk to you, sometimes they have a little bit of trouble holding a thinner pen. So if you get a thick pen, it's much easier for them to sign your autograph book. So keep that in mind, always buy a bigger pen when you buy an autograph book. And usually the pens are like $7.99, so it is a little, there's a little bit of a price hike there, so if you can come in having already bought this pen or a big pen, that might be the ticket right there. Just like Christmas ornaments, you can never have enough mugs. This is the Disney Cruise Line mug I decided to go with. It is a navy blue in color, and you have the cruise on the front and absolutely nothing on the back. And on the inside, it says Disney Cruise Line. I like this mug because it was simple, it was classy, um, it wasn't too busy, which is what I liked. This coffee mug was $16.99, which is pretty standard for a Disney coffee mug, so right on point with stuff that you would buy in Disney World. You can feel the bumpies. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Like, you can feel that this texture and this texture are a little bit different. It's not a singular pattern, so it feels like a little bit bumpy, and I like that. It's engraved, maybe that's a good word for it. It's engraved. Or maybe I'm insane, because that's probably true too. Continuing on the line of cups, I did buy my sister. She collects shot glasses, so I did get her a little cruise line smokestack shot glass. It holds a decent amount of liquid uh, for those of you taking a shot in it. And it's just, just like the mug, it does have a little bumpy. This one goes out. It's not just a painting on the mug, it's actually engraved onto the mug, so I do like that, that's cool. And it's also not even. So it's like a smokestack, because it's not even, it's slanted a little bit. You can see that it's slanted on the top and slanted on the bottom, so that's super cool. And the shot glass is $9.95, so keep that in mind. Another crazy thing I collect, and it's also an issue, is Tsum Tsums. So, had to get an exclusive cruise line Tsum Tsum. I already had the Mickey and Minnie Tsum Tsum, so I had to get a little stitch here. Just like on shore, the Tsum Tsum is $5.99, which is a typical price for a Tsum Tsum at Disney World or at your local Disney stores. And I told you I was crazy obsessed with ornaments, so here is the next ornament I purchased. And it is a ornament of the Disney Dream. On the ornament itself it does say Disney dream on it so that's kind of cool actually it's not kind of cool it's kind of awesome because it makes me now want to go on the other three ships just to get this magnet so all the sisters can be together um but yeah I like the fact that it's special to the boat um, I love that it's just not a generic Disney cruise line ornament which is the easy route to go the only thing that I wish was on it um and I understand why it's not 
is I wish they had the Mickey that dangles on the front right here. Um, but that's a pretty complicated detail on a very small area. So Disney, you're forgiven for that. This ornament was $24.99, which was a little bit more expensive than the Grand Floridian ornament, but it's still on par with the typical ornaments at Disney World. So looks like for the most part, pricing is pretty similar between Disney Cruise Line and Disney World for those of you that are planning either one of those vacations. And continuing on the trend of boat merch, I did buy a Disney Cruise Line magnet. Unlike the ornament, this is just a generic Disney Cruise Line magnet. It doesn't say Disney Dream on it. It's just a boat that says Disney. Um, this was marked as mint in price. So some things at Disney are priced by color, which is not at all annoying when you're trying to shop and count money. And this magnet was $7.99, so this will go on my refrigerator, which already has about 8,000 magnets. So, welcome to the family. One thing I absolutely knew I needed from the cruise, I knew I needed it. I saw this before I even went on the boat. I was watching Disney Cruise Line vlogs and hauls, and I knew I would need this, is these butter knives. I. I love this butter knife. I love it. It is adorable. I needed it. I don't even know why I needed it, but I needed it. Um, these are the butter knives that are at Animator's Palette, one of the restaurants that's on the ship. Animator's Palette is on every Disney Cruise Line boat, so you can get it on any ship that you were on. I love these butter knives. In all honesty, if they didn't sell them at the gift shop, I would have stolen them out of Animator's Palette. I love these butter knives so much. I love them so much, I bought four. I bought four. This is my problem. My main purpose for buying four was, I figured these would be great around the holidays for cheeses and when you're doing holiday parties. That was my thought with these. Um, they're just kind of a talking piece because who doesn't like a knife that looks like a paintbrush? Like, seriously, it's a paintbrush. Like, that is freaking adorable. It is adorable. And these were about $9.99. So these were about $9.99 a piece. Um, like I said, perfect for the holidays and I needed these. These were like a really big must buy before I went on the cruise. So I'm glad I got these and I'm glad I got a set. And to be perfectly honest, I debated whether I should get more than four. And that's when you know you have a shopping problem. So I covered everything that I bought on the ship. So I'm gonna show you a couple of free things that I got while on the boat. First thing that I got for free on the boat was my picture. So they have, just like in Disney World and Disneyland, they have animation classes. And I was taught to draw Mickey. They have two different types of animation classes on the boat. The first they deem for families, which basically means it's for everyone, and one they have for adults only. Um, while kids can participate in those drawing classes, it's a harder drawing lesson, so it's meant more for adults. Uh, the instructions are apparently more complicated. Um, I can't draw, clearly. Um, I can't draw. So I always have fun doing this, but I don't expect to do much. But I will be honest, I do love my Mickey. He's devilish and demonish and he looks like he's got some mischief going on and that just gets him character, so. As terrible as a drawler as I am, this is actually pretty good, so. Thanks, Mick. Another free thing I received was my Pirates bandana. So when you have Pirates Night at Sea on your cruise, when they clean your room, they will leave a bandana for every person staying in the room. Uh, you can wear it, you cannot. A lot of people do wear it. Um, I did dress up for Pirates Night, so I'll include a picture right here. Uh, so the bandana wasn't really for me, but I know Jen didn't bring anything piratey with her, so she may do with this. So it's a nice little touch. I believe they do leave things in your room as well if they do a Star Wars Day at Sea or a Marvel Day at Sea. But we had pirates, so I got a bandana. And then while this was free, I feel like I earned it. A Disney Cruise Line medal. And I actually won two of these. These are plastic, so pretty loosey-goosey, so it won't break. And a pretty long strand that says winner, in case you forgot. 
generally speaking you win these when you do certain events on the cruise like if you win at trivia or baby diaper dash or one of the billion other activities they have on the cruise so this is your prize when you win i won disney villains trivia quotes which was my first victory and then my second one came from disney trivia so i was a trivia winner i won one and then a half hour later i won the other one and that's just victory so that was fun and i'm extraordinarily competitive so i think i'm gonna need more than two next time and then every night as well they do leave chocolate on your pillow they leave a Ghirardelli chocolate typically in your room so this is what it looks like and then on pirates night they leave you a gold doubloon so on one side it says so on one side it says dead men tell no tales and on the other side you have a typical skull and crossbones so. I've had both of these candies. Um, this one is terrible. It's not really worth eating. And this one is delicious because it's sheer deli. We've covered the stuff from the ship. I'm gonna pull out the stuff that I bought from Atlantis. Atlantis is a large hotel that is in the Bahamas. It is the most famous hotel in the Bahamas. And to be perfectly honest, it's the really only nice place in Nassau. So if you go on a cruise and you go to Nassau, um, I wouldn't go anywhere else but Atlantis. And Atlantis has a ton of shops. So I was looking for other people while I was there. And when I didn't like something, there was about 50 other stores to go to. So keep that in mind. So I bought this t-shirt for my mom. It's a nice orange color. And it says Atlantis on the front, a little starfish. Yeah, I thought this was cute. I think my mom would like it. And this shirt was $23 even. And then continuing on the theme of shirts, I bought my dad this Atlanta shirt. And the shirt was $28. And last but not least in the Bahamas, um, like I said, my sister collects shot glasses. So I had to get her one from Atlantis. So it has two dolphins on the side. And you can't really see it, but it does say Atlantis right there. It's kind of like a ceramic quality. It's a pretty thick glass. And this shot glass was $12, so. Looks cute, kind of pricey. Um, definitely a little bit more pricey than the Disney Cruise Line shot glass, but I mean, it's for other people. That's the excuse I make. It's for other people, and that's how I spend money. And our Bahama stuff is completely covered, so now comes the Castaway Key merch. I was super excited about Castaway Key merch until I saw there isn't a lot of Castaway Key merch. It's weird. There are not a lot of merchandise options in Castaway Key, so keep that in mind. Um, there's not really a lot there, but I make the most out of things. The first thing I'll start out with is this cup because I also have a problem with buying cups. Uh, these, this came with a frozen slush and there was also a second option, which I had to buy. And it was Olaf, so you have Sven and you have Olaf, which the size proportion between the two is not the same. Uh, you should be a little bit bigger, Sven. Uh, Sven actually holds probably a little bit more of the drink than Olaf does. However, I absolutely had to buy these because the first thing I thought was Christmas decorations. So come Christmas time, I'll probably buy little hats for them, maybe like L for Santa hats, put them on them and use them as Christmas decorations. So I figured it wasn't a completely worthless purchase. The icy drinks were pretty good. I went with the weird random flavors just to try something up. But yeah, adorable. On Castaway Key, I had to get a Castaway Key magnet. Uh, you can barely tell it's Castaway Key. The font right here says Castaway Key, although it's kind of difficult to read. And this says it was mint pricing, which I believe is $7. So again, gotta love the non-pricing on the object, so I believe this was $7. And last but not least, my absolute favorite thing that I probably bought on the entirety of the cruise, and I absolutely love him, and yes, this still continues my trend of being obsessed with Christmas ornaments, but he was necessary, 110% necessary, and I don't care what anybody else tells me. It's Olaf, it's Olaf, it's the sand Olaf, 
this is Castaway Key. This is the Olaf statue that was in Castaway Key. So it's a little Olaf. This is cute. This is really, really cute. He had to come home. Like, I think I already have like three Olaf ornaments, but he had to come home. Can he be cuter? I don't know. This is probably my absolute favorite thing that I bought because he is adorable and I totally didn't expect him. I intentionally did not look up Castaway Key merch before I went because I was like, I need to be a surprise and he was a total surprise and he is adorable and I want him forever. And that's about it for my cruise line haul. I'm sorry guys that this video took so long to get out. Um, one, I was procrastinating and two, I've had so many videos and there's been so many things going on in Disney World that it's hard to keep track of things. Um, I was thinking about doing a cruise line tips video for anyone who's looking to plan their first cruise. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think we should do a tips video? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Please don't forget, if you like this video, to please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much to all of my subscribers that have already joined my family and thank you to my future subscribers. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Britt's Ted Bets. This is Britt, ending today's chapter.